Hello, my name is Mihaela. Let's dive into what's new in this Flow Manager release. This version is compatible with earlier releases and can be installed on top of existing Flow Manager instances. Flow Manager requires a database to store the Flow repository, either an integrated or external MongoDB. If you are using MongoDB, check that the version is at least 4.4, especially before performing an update. If you are not familiar with Flow Manager, check the description below to access free introductory product training. Let's quickly review the most critical fixes in this release. Passwords would be lost when promoting flows. Undeploying or deleting a flow would fail if the flow is incomplete. And we resolved delete issues with undeployed in error flows with Secure Transport plugin. You can refer to the release notes in the description for a complete list of fixes and product enhancements. The user interface has been improved so that you can define advanced filters in the product or privileges lists. You can now search product by name, status, OS, host, type, version and combinations with these. And you can also search privileges by name, product, resource, or if it's predefined or not. To perform an advanced search on the product list, click on the advanced search icon and make your search combination. You can do the same for the privileges page. Another user interface improvement is that while viewing or editing subscriptions or templates, you can now use a quick search to look through the labels or descriptions of the field shown. For templates, quick search is available under the template configuration tab, both in view mode and edit mode. For subscriptions from simple and advanced patterns, quick search is available under each sub tab for sources or targets. You can also use a drop down menu, which automatically filters the displayed field by categorizing them as common, mandatory, or all fields. The quick search filter will apply to what is displayed based on the common, mandatory, or all fields filter. Some passive advanced parameters for transfer settings were not yet supported in Flow Manager, but were supported by Secure Transport. So we've worked on adding this functionality in this Flow Manager release in order to align with the Secure Transport capabilities. These new passive advanced parameters are Resync Allowed, Checkpoint Interval, Checkpoint Window, Connection Timeout, Passive Buffer Size, User Message Receive, Store and Forward Mode, Originator, and Final Destination. Thanks for watching. Check the release notes for more details on new features and bug fixes. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time.